I'm making some epoxy filler to reinforce some of the voids in the fiberglass as I fill some of the deeper holes behind the uh, fiberglass mat. This is biaxial cloth and this is just a scrap piece and I'm going to use some of this hair to uh, create a, a thickened reinforced epoxy and this will go behind the mat. When I lay the mat up I don't want I don't want deep voids behind it. West Systems makes an epoxy product. Uh, they have their 105 epoxy resin and their 205 fast hardener and their 206 slow hardener. And these are five to one hardener, or I'm sorry, epoxy to hardener products. The pumps that are on the cans meter them out perfectly five times versus one. And um, when you mix these things, um, you have a fast hardener that will harden more quickly uh, for slightly cooler temperatures and a slow hardener that will harden um, more slowly for warmer temperatures. Uh, if you were to use the slow hardener in a cooler temperature, it would take too long to harden or take even longer than you really, really need. Uh, if you were to use a fast hardener in really hot temperatures, it might kick too soon. The process of kicking is when the hardener reaches a certain temperature, it will create a, um, a thermal reaction that will suddenly uh, harden it very rapidly. And the epoxy mixture can actually smoke and melt through a plastic cup. Um, there are some things you can do that do to keep that from happening. Uh, you can mix in a wider, shallower cup so that you don't uh, get the hardener too deep or you don't get the epoxy too deep inside the cup. Um, so if you you know are mixing, I just mix with a, a little uh, uh, popsicle stick. Um, you want to try to mix enough that it doesn't get too deep and if you need it deeper then probably you know a half an inch you should probably uh, use a wider shallower container to keep it from kicking suddenly.